What's up? Real, just a quick example of what I'm talking about here at number two. I'll throw two triangles up and say, are they congruent or not? If they are congruent, what's the method? Right? Not possible might be a method. Uh, also, too, remember, what are the two things you're allowed to mark on your own? Because I will not mark them for you. Cormac one. They have a shared side. Reflexive side or angle. And what else can you always mark on your own? What else can you mark on your own? Jonathan? What's that? Vertical angles. Okay, because I, hey, I'm not marking them on the diagram, but you can mark them on your own and say, are they congruent or not? Uh, interior angles of a triangle, they all add up to 180. Triangle exterior angle theorem, what do I mean by that? We talked, I think it was on day two. Angle one is equal to what two angles added up? Three and four added up. Those are called remote interior. And then I put two proofs on there. Okay, two proofs at the end. On Friday, if you weren't here, I'll I get I'll help you after I'm done with the notes. But Friday we signed on to Delta Math. There's a review on there. Tonight's homework's not going to be due until Wednesday. So if you want to focus on the Delta Math tonight, you can. But that's it. I'm not going to review today. Any questions? I am out. We'll be here after school if you need any help with anything. Any questions about the quiz? Going? Okay. Then let's start this. Uh, we finished with like 20 minutes left last period. So you guys can start the Delta Math or the assignment due Wednesday. All right. Uh, first, number one up here. I'm telling you those two triangles are congruent. Triangle WIS congruent to triangle EUP. I, notice I didn't give you a diagram. I don't want, I don't need one. What I want right now, I'm going to go around the room. Give me three pairs of sides that must be congruent now. And then give me three pairs of angles that must be congruent if those two triangles are congruent. How can I do this without a diagram? Remember, I wrote that statement in a specific order. So all the sides and angles match up. So let's first give me a pair of sides that you know must be congruent now. Just using the statement. Just using the statement. Give me a pair of sides here. Uh, let's start it off here. Finley, give me a pair of sides. Uh, you're going to give me angles now, then? Can't name a side with one letter, right? Can't name a side with one letter. So now, don't use W, because, right, I can't name a side with a letter. But I can go WI as a side, and what would that match up with in the other triangle? Okay, everyone, WI congruent to EU. Yep, I need to name it with two letters for a side. All right, more sides that would match up. Another pair of sides that match up. Not here. Jared? Uh, I S congruent to UP. Good work. And then how about the third pair of sides based on that statement? Uh, one zip. That owes me one here. Shara, how about the uh, third pair? I already have WI, I already have IS. There's one more pair I haven't talked about. Okay, WS, what's a match up within the other triangle according to that statement? EP. Okay, we all good, everybody. Okay, now let's go over to angles. Now you can name them with one letter here. Give me a pair of angles that would be congruent now. Ooh, Bailey. Okay, angle W is congruent to angle E. Uh, two. Uh, Dylan, another pair. Angle I and angle U. Good work. And then how about my final pair? One, three, Jonathan. Angle S congruent to angle P. Good. Okay. First, do we understand how I know those are the sides that match up based on just reading that statement up there? We okay there? Second thing, I know how they match up, but why are they all congruent? What did you know about the triangles? They are also... Well, the, the sides and angles correspond, but what made them congruent? Like, why did I just throw the congruent in front of them or in between them? Because the triangles are. 
what do we know about the triangles? The triangles are congruent. Now, hey, okay, I'm getting confused faces here. If the triangles are congruent, so are all the corresponding parts. That's great that you guys know what matches up, but they're not congruent unless the triangles are congruent. We all good there, right? The triangles must be congruent for the parts to be congruent. Look at the first proof we're doing here today. Am I asking you to prove triangles congruent in the proof statement? Look at the proof statement. Am I asking you to prove triangles congruent? No. What am I asking you to prove? A pair of angles. Look where those pair of angles are on the diagram, please. ACD and BCD. Everyone see where they are? ACD and BCD. They match up. They correspond. But, but, they're not going to be congruent unless I do what? What do I need to do first before I show these parts are congruent? Prove what first? The triangles are congruent. All right, so we're going to add one more step to our proof now. Prove the triangles congruent first, so a pair of parts are congruent. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Now we'll really know if you're ready for the uh, quiz tomorrow. Because all we're doing today is proving a pair of triangles congruent and then adding another step to it. So hopefully we remember our four methods that we have. If the triangles are congruent, so are, to, so are the corresponding parts. All right, so far, I have CA congruent to CB. That gives me a pair of sides. So like I did all last week, I'm going to throw an S up there. So I need your help with two more pair of sides or angles. You can use the diagram or you can use the extra, the second given that's up there. You tell me what else is true in this diagram now. All right, turn it over to you guys. Jonathan, what else is true? Okay, start over again here. Uh, An angle? Uh, yeah. Why, is, why are you going to say those angles are congruent? What up here is telling you those angles are congruent? That's what I'm asking. You're about to tell me that these two angles are congruent, and I need to know why, other than it looks like it. Okay, what is the midpoint? Is this a midpoint of a side or an angle? Okay, so why are we giving me angles in return? D is the midpoint of a side, not the angle. So the angle's not getting cut in half. You want to tell me something else, sir? Yeah. Um, side A, B is congruent to side B. Okay, I like that a heck of a lot better. Yep. A, D congruent to D, B. What's my reason going to be? Somebody else here. Uh, Cormac, what's my reason? Okay. There you go. There's your second pair of sides, everyone. Looks like I need one more pair of something from somebody in here. What else do you see on the diagram that I can say? It's going to be nothing new here. Tess, see anything? Uh, and we got it. A little shared side, right? Reflexive. All right, you guys got to do a little extra work here because last two days you could just look up at the proof statement, copy it down, and you were good. All right, there's no proof statement to copy down as far as the triangles go. So can somebody have a good triangle statement that says these sides and angles would match up? Okay, so triangle, whatever you want to call it, matches up with the other triangles. Make sure all the sides and angles match up, please, right? Sides and angles match up. Questions earlier? Oh, the answer. Okay, hold on. I've got to call on numbers here. Make sure everyone's got it. Bryson, here we go. Triangle. Triangle ACD is the triangle BCD. Okay, that's fine with me. Hey, hey, this doesn't have to be the only one, everybody. It's a good one, but not the only one. 
Okay, there's a lot of different ways I can name it. And one of the four methods we use, what's the method here? Uh, nine, Vinny, what's my method? Side, side, side. Got it, yep, side, side, side. So that's where you gotta be for the quiz tomorrow. Now I'm gonna take it an extra step. Now that the triangles are congruent, any of these corresponding parts are congruent, including the two, the two angles I'm trying to have you find. Angle ACD congruent to BCD. The triangles have to be congruent first. And here's our new reason. Corresponding parts, because that's what it is. I don't need to say angles or sides. I can just use the term parts. Corresponding parts in what type of triangles do I have in the previous one? What did I show? Corresponding parts in congruent <laughs> triangles are congruent. That'll be the last, oh, 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 this will be the last time you have to write that because from here going forward, you can write its abbreviation. Okay, you can write its abbreviation, which is a classic one that's always used. It doesn't have to go in brackets. It's corresponding parts in congruent triangles are congruent. Let that roll off your tongue a couple times. CPCTC. CPCTC. Let that roll off your tongue. Use it all you want, but I'll just give you a little warning. It's got to be in the correct order. It can't be C, T, P, C, X, Y, Z. All right, it's got to be in the correct order if you want that. Use that. No. Not a way to prove triangles congruent. Not a way. It is after you prove triangles congruent, you can say C, P, C, T, C. It is not a fifth method. All right, it is to show you all the angles and sides are afterwards. Any questions on this C, P, C, T, C? Not on the quiz tomorrow. All right, not on the quiz. All right, let's keep going. Notice now I have to prove SQ congruent to PR. SQ and PR. All right, well, though, those two sides aren't going to be congruent unless, here we go, help me out. Uh, Lily, I can't prove those sides congruent unless I know the triangles are congruent. So that's our first job. Get these two triangles congruent, which is great review for tomorrow's quiz. All right, mark it up. I'll talk to somebody here in a second. Let's get the triangles congruent first. All right, look at, let's see what's given. It looks like there are two full pairs of angles that are given to you guys. Two full pair of angles. So it looks like we're on the hook for just one more pair. And we know it can't be angles, right? Because there's no such thing as angle, angle, angle. So we know it's gotta be a side somewhere. Okay, I have two full pairs of angles, gotta find the side. Ready? Where's that side going to come from? Going back, Lily, you see a side I can use? Good. Yep, the reflexive side. They share PS, so I can count that. Good work. PS congruent to itself. Gives me a side reflexive.
Next, what is the method? Because this could be angle side angle or angle angle side. Cover up, look at one triangle only, cover it up, cover up one of the triangles and see if that reflexive side is in between. Okay. Look at one triangle only, either RPS or QPS. <coughs> cover up the other one. Is that side in between or not? And that should tell you the method. First, tell me the method we're going to use. What do we think here out of the two? Brendan, what do we think here? Uh, angle, angle side. Good, that side is not in between. Again, I cover it up. Here are the two angles, and there's the side. That side is not in between. And now from somebody else, how about a good statement that says the triangles are congruent? That matches up all the sides. Match them up for me. Drew, when you're ready. Uh, RPS. Okay, RPS congruent to? QSP. QSP. Let's take a look. R and Q look good. PS and PS. Uh, RS and Q. Yeah, looks good. Not the only one, though. It's a good one, but not the only one. And now the triangles are congruent. I can say any of their parts are congruent, including SQ and PR. Let it roll. C, P, C. After saying the triangles are congruent, so are the parts. All right, we got one more. But this one, these last two, there's only been two triangles in the darn diagram. So we knew which two had to be proven congruent. But what happens now if there's multiple triangles? Do I just pick one and hope I'm correct? Nope. Let's talk about it. Whoa, before we do any marking or statements reasons, look at the proof statement, everyone. Look at the proof. Find those two angles, please. Find those two angles we need to prove congruent. And then I'm going to ask somebody, what two triangles do they belong to? Because those are the two triangles we're going to have to prove congruent. Just don't pick any two. Look at angle ABI and angle ACI. Name the two triangles that those two angles are in. Let's do it. One. Makaya, go ahead. Which two triangles am I going to use here? Yep. Yeah, guys, just use, you know, the, the angles tell you exactly. Instead of putting an angle symbol, put a triangle in front of them. All right, those are the two we're going to need here. And I did a bad job. How about I do two different colors there? There we go. All right, so let's get those two congruent so we can say the angles are. All right, guys, looks like uh, I gave you a side, right? AB congruent to AC, so I started you off with a side. So I need two more pieces here, two more pieces to say they're congruent. Uh, let's see, Finley, give a guy anything else you know is congruent? Great job, good work. Way to take the tough one too. Angle BAI congruent to angle CAI. <coughs> Good job. I, I still think some of us don't get the whole bisecting and angle part. All right, why? Why are those two? How did Finley know that? Sure, let's go. Cormac, how'd you know that? Uh, wait, no one. BAI congruent to CAI. Uh, definition of bisecting. Yep. 
All right, so that gives me a pair of angles. What's up next? So I need another pair of something here. Another pair of something. Two, Simon, anything else? Yep, a little shared side up there for everybody. That with a little X. Good, everyone, good. That gives me a side. Uh, all right, give me the reason now why the triangles are congruent. Then I'll ask somebody the actual statement. So out of the four reasons that we have, this one's going to be what here? Ooh, one, three, Jonathan. I don't think I ever wrote that one down. Oh, um, side, X, A. side, angle, side. Good. Side, angle, side. And how about a statement now? A little statement that's in the correct order. Vinny, triangle. Uh, -I. Yep. -I. Fine with that. It's a good one, but not the only one, right? After the triangles are congruent, any of their parts including ABI congruent to ACI, CPCT. Before I let you go, please do not write CPCTC anywhere on the quiz tomorrow. It's not on there. All right, your quiz is stops right there. Prove the triangles congruent. You have two options right now. You can go to the homework that's due Wednesday because you're still proving, you're still doing triangle proofs, or you can get out your Chromebook and go to Delta Math. Anybody that wasn't here on Friday, uh, here's our class code for Delta Math, so you can get on our class code and start the review. Plenty of options here, plenty of options. Homework due Wednesday, because you're still doing proofs, or hopping on Delta Math and starting the review. Here we go. There's no other options, not doing any other classwork, nothing, here we go.